all right good morning guys it is a friday and yeah i had the hardest time getting out of bed this morning because my friend sophie came over last night and we ended up making tiktoks until like 11 o'clock so yeah but i am at school um we have a lot of assessments to take care of today anyways they so we are having a faculty breakfast this morning so i am going to go get some breakfast at a faculty breakfast this morning so they provided breakfast for us and it is so freaking good look at this we got some chick-fil-a chicken minis so super excited about that but my kids come in like 10 minutes and i need to put the slide up so i gotta get going I'm just lagging today. Anyways, it has been a wonky day because um, my team teacher had to leave. There was like um, some stuff with her family, so she went ahead and left at like 8.30. So what we do when one of us leaves, we have a split list, and so we split our class up, pictures all together. So when one of us leaves, we split our kids into fours, like if it's like an unexpected thing and they don't have a sub. So I have five of her kiddos in here, so it's been like a little throwing our morning off, but they're sweet. We've been having fun. Um, we got all of our assessments done. And so when they got finished with that, I let them watch vocabulary videos for a pretty decent amount of time and practice their multiplication. So while they were doing that, I was able to get some papers graded. So I'm really excited that I won't have a huge stack of papers to take home like I do every single weekend. So I'll finish grading those during planning and I'll go ahead and get caught up on um, entering them into the grade book. But yeah, I'm so full from that breakfast that we had that I am like not eating my lunch today, but I am going to go and hang out with my team. And yeah, so I'll catch up with you during planning and I finally have my behavior management system put in play with like my um my money classroom money and like how I incorporate it with dojos and conduct marks so I'm gonna show you guys that today and I'm super excited so yeah I'm gonna go and then we will have art which I'll have planning and then interventions So these are like my fun glasses. Um, so I was sent these glasses and sunglasses. Um, I'll show you the sunglasses. Cute. I tried to like get out of my normal style, but yeah. So T I J N eyewear sent me um, these. So these are um, they have them like you can get prescription, but these are for blue light. So like when I edit and stuff, or when I'm on the computer or staring at a screen for really long. So um, I have been just trying these out and playing with them. So I'm super excited about those and I think my sunglasses are really really cool so thank you once again TIJ and eyewear for sending me these I just kind of love them they're just kind of so fun so anyways um, I'm not gonna have time to show you guys behavior management right now that'll have to be after school but I have this big stack of runoffs to go through and figure out what we are going to do and I only have like 10 minutes left of planning we have been doing multiplication um, so these are the time tests that we are gonna start giving um, more multiplication drills a whole bunch of multiplication drills because that is what we're doing um, this is just gonna be like early morning stuff it's just these monsters and you color um so the bottom it has like six plus six plus six plus six and so you put the answer and then that's green um you find the answer to it and then color it green so it's front and back the passages stapled for my fourth graders that i meet with on tuesday mornings and then also i think this one these are just from readworks that's a really good website to get passages from and it comes with questions so i have this for my third graders i believe um so this i just got it's like a narrative planning sheet so it says like who are the main characters what is the storytelling where does the story take place transition words how will your story end so just so they can brainstorm before they write we did something like this similar but not the same layout earlier this week and then this is check your writing so it's just like a checklist of 
things to look for before you turn it in. I got off of like Rock and Resource, I think, and they are graphic organizers. I used them last year with my fourth graders. So this one's just a plain graphic organizer. This one is an opinion graphic organizer. And then this one is a narrative one. So I'm like separating them in piles as I go. Um, we are starting unit seven. Um, so this is the unit seven test, which will go on the bottom because it's gonna take us two weeks to get through unit seven. So we'll test on this right before fall break. And then here are the quizzes. So we have lesson one quiz, some stuff on food chains um, and producers and consumers. So yeah, but really quickly, I'm gonna go pick up my kids and I will check back in with you guys. It'll be probably after um, after intervention recess. So it'll be the end of the day when I talk to you guys. So I've got a few things to show you guys before I head out. I just got done with dismissal. Um, so I, in my last year's um, class and then also in my like classroom tour of my old classroom so previous to this i um showed you guys that i had a writing center i really like writing and i really like the kids like practicing their writing so i am like trying to form my third grade writing center now um so i don't know what's like, what that is going to look like but i'm just getting the materials together so um i got these spelling dictionaries made um and I just put them on green paper and inside of them it just has a lot of like high frequency words that are like misspelled so um, I just folded it in half and stapled it on the back there's like number words there's colors um, on the inside there is words for like like synonyms and then holidays months days all that good stuff and then also at the bottom of every page there's lines so like if there is a word that we use a lot that's not on there, we can go ahead and write it in. So I made 10 of those for my writing centers. And then also at my old school, I had um, these, the five steps of, five stages of writing hung up. So I just went ahead and made new ones. Because quite frankly, I don't know where those are at. Um, so yeah, so those are just some things that I did for the writing center. You guys will see that more as it gets developed. But um, yeah, so I just wanna show you guys that. And now I'm gonna show you how I do um, my behavior management. So first of all, I use Class Dojo. So I will just show you really briefly with, I mean, if you're a teacher, you've probably at least heard of Class Dojo, but that is how I do behavior because, um, so I know a lot of teachers use like Remind um, or Seesaw to send out parent e or parent like notifications or like messages or stuff. And so I don't do newsletters. I started doing weekly newsletters um, at the beginning of fourth grade and I would send them out every week but that ended up being more stress for me and I was realizing that my parents never even got them like the kids were not giving them to their parents so it was honestly just like a lot of work and upkeep for me and they weren't even like being read I would still get the same questions of when is this when is that does when is this turned in when is this test so I just ditched it and I used class dojo so I'm gonna come out and show you the d demo class so this is what it will look like, um, but obviously I have my personalized people on there, and then it gives you the option. These are all the skills that they can earn dojos for, and then it's like a competition to see who has the most dojos, and then also they can lose dojos. So. I incorporate that with my classroom economy because every time they earn a dojo, they get $5. So one dojo equals $5. For the week, I have my bankers and we will sit down. They also have bank logs, so it's in their agenda book and I wish I had one to show you, but they all have them. But they're just bank logs and it's like transaction, date, if they withdrew, deposited, whatever. So we keep track of our money because now we're doing it online. This year I had money that I made and cut out similar to like Monopoly money, but that was a lot of upkeep. And now the website that I use actually has like an online banking system. So I can go in and just quickly like give them money and I've trained my bankers to do so also. So, um, yeah, so if the students lose a conduct mark or lose a dojo for misbehaving, it is a fine. So they also lose money. So in return, you get money for dojos. And like today, I only had two people make straight 100s on um, 
a social studies test. So like I was like, I'm putting $20 in your account. So that's kind of how I use it for rewards incentives. Um, they haven't yet, but they will get paid for their jobs. Um, and so, yeah, so the what I use is my classroom economy and I will link that down below in Dojo. So those are the two things. I mainly use Dojo so I can communicate with parents, but they also love to earn Dojos. And it's really easy because I can tell my Dojo distributor to go grab the iPad and I can say go give dojos to everyone who's sitting in the ready position right now or give dojos to everyone who's reading quietly so it's just easy it's not something that they have to do so yeah they really love get doing dojos there's like a little thing and then also like I can there's like a feed so I can post pictures to my parents almost like a Facebook feed. I can post pictures of what we're doing and then the, they can see it, they like it, they comment it. My parents last year loved it. Um, so yeah, so they really, really like that. It's also super easy for the parents to communicate with me. They just open the app and shoot me a message. And if you are a teacher who doesn't like to get notifications all the time, Dojo does have do not disturb hours so you won't get notifications. I don't care um, when I get messages, but you can do that if that's the option. Now I'm gonna stop talking and show you guys my classroom economy. Okay, so over here is where over here is where their names are, so I'm not gonna show that. But then it says balance. So this is how many of my kids have. Everybody started off with a hundred dollars that I just gave them, and then the rest of their money was earned through dojos. So it just says the class, happy camper. Oh, and you'll click on the student's name you will go and you'll click and then it will ask you what you want to do so that here it's the student's name and it just shows all of the history and then you will come over to the button that says add transaction and then you just get to add a transaction so if they want to withdraw money to buy something or deposit money or whatever you put the amount and then for this if they earn one for like a test or something I'll put test so that is how the online banking banking system works now I'm gonna go show you like the little classroom display I have for all this and then I'm gonna go home because it's Friday and I've gotten all my papers graded today and put in the grade book so I'm speeding home but so here is what I have and it just says jobs and it's all the different jobs and eventually I will have their paper um I'll have their like little clip on there with their number, but I've already, I don't know if I've showed you guys in this classroom, but this is the jobs that people have and they already have their jobs now. And um, I just have reminders like one dojo point equals $5, one conduct mark is $5. Um, withdrawal, we had this big deal and we talked about what withdrawal means, what deposit means. And so the kids are like overly excited. Um, if you are someone who is like, oh my gosh, that sounds like so much work, it's really not um, because I have two bankers and those are kiddos that I know are like responsible enough to deal with people's money. So it actually goes by really, really smoothly. I did this last year and I use paper money. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I'll add some like tweak it and add things and fix things. But yeah, so they're saving up because they know that we're gonna have like an auction or a store where they can buy things um, so I haven't decided all of the rewards but they are really excited to save up money like an example would be like use a bean bag for a week straight so things like that so we talked about saving money and we talked about depositing and all this other stuff so they are ready to go and they're super duper excited about it so with that being said if you have any more questions about like my behavior management system or what they would lose fine like get fined for um, or how I keep up with that just let me know down below I would love to answer you guys questions if you have them but yeah so um, rambling anymore I'm gonna go ahead and go home and yeah I will see you guys in my next video and yeah I love y'all I mean like honestly like your support means the world but I will let y'all go